is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko, and today we're back with another vlog. Why did I say it like that? <laughs> One more time. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko, and today we're back with another vlog. In today's video, we're actually gonna be heading over to locals because it's the Age of Overlord sneak peek event. Now, first things first, we got Alpha here with us, and as part of our Yu-Gi-Oh weekend locals tradition, we always go to TNT, we get some Chinese food, and then we get lunch, or kind of technically our breakfast, but it's 11.30 a.m., so kind of like lunch, and then we go to locals. And I'm really excited because in today's event, we're gonna be playing, of course, with the Age of Overlord cards, and that set brings up a bunch of brand new cards that are absolutely insane. SP Little Knight, of course, is the chase card of the set. Alpha and I already decided that we're pulling QCRs, right, Alpha? Yep, see, we're pulling QCRs. And I still have yet to pull a Starlight slash QCR at any of these sneak peek events. And I keep saying, if you guys like the video and you guys subscribe, I'll pull one. So maybe today is the day. SP Little Night, easy, let's make it happen. With that being said though, we're gonna head to Locals, have our lunch, and then we're gonna get the vlog really started. All right, so we're at Locals now, and I'm gonna be honest, a couple people have already bought in uh, their kits and their sets, and uh, there's already been a couple SP Little Nights pulled. Sam, you wanna get in on this? On what? I was just telling my vlog that there's already been a couple SP Little Nights pulled, and uh, there's one of them. <laughs> so it's very, oh, did, did you pull one too? Did you pull one as well? Okay, so it's very unlikely we're actually going to get to pull one because everyone is pulling them already. So um, it's whatever is left in the kits. But I know there's a couple of the Snake Eye cards that are pretty expensive as well. Honestly, there's been no QCR pulled yet though. So we have the odds of a QCR. Now, I don't want to keep you guys waiting too long because I know I've just been rambling on and I've been talking. But I want to show you guys what I'm playing today. So let's get ready. All right, so I want to show you guys quickly what we're playing. And of course, we're still on RDA. I think this deck is very underrated and I think it's still very powerful. So this is kind of like what my main deck looks like. Uh, it's pretty generic, I think, in terms of the RDA stuff. It's pure, so it's not the Mysterio build. And then, of course, the extra deck is the same, you know, what it is. Uh, now, for my side deck, though, I am testing something different in the main deck and in the side deck today. So I'm not maining the Droll anymore. I have these for uh, potential cross the targets. I'm actually main decking 2DB Crow. And I have one slot left for a Thrust target in my side deck. I don't know what I want this to be. I don't know if it's going to be Dark Ruler. I don't know if it's going to be Herald of the Abyss. I'm going to think of that before uh, we actually start playing today but uh i'm pretty excited for today i'm pretty confident in the deck and i've been learning the deck a lot more recently so i'm pretty confident in it i think it's gonna take a few wins today and uh, it's something that the room doesn't expect let's hope we do well today i also wanted to tell you guys that i have some really cool deck profiles coming up for post age of overlord and that includes stuff like dark world because ken and gen are coming out i'm actually just trying to get my common gens right now and then i'm gonna be actually filming the deck profile today for you guys so it should be coming out soon you may have already seen the deck profile by the time the vlog comes out because vlogs usually take a little bit longer to edit so we'll see how that goes but you guys are going to get some post Age of Overlord deck profiles and I'll be filming some shorts for you guys today. So there's a lot of content coming up. Stay tuned for that. With that being said, we just got to wait now to get our packs. We'll do the pack opening. We'll get our duels in and we'll see how today goes. Soon after. So we got our packs. First thing is, uh, this is such a beautiful card. I'm going to be honest, I really like the artwork on this. But you guys are not here for that. You guys are here for the opening. And that's what I'm here for. And you know, we're going to try to hit a QCR. We're going to try to hit an SP. Any of the Evil Eye cards would be nice. Or the Snake Eyes, I mean. This is really cool. I want to build this deck as well. So uh, there's a lot of potential here. We got a Nouvelle Super Rare to start things off. And again, which is nice. You guys can probably tell it's really loud. I think there's, I think, 40 people today, which is a pretty crazy sneak peek event. So 40 people overall. So there's a lot going on, and uh, you guys are probably not going to hear me all that well, but uh, you never know. So we got Jordan to give us our packs as well, and when Jordan gives us packs, we always hit. So we are going to try to hit, of course, as per usual. Let's go. We got at least one. Oh, this is a common. That's crazy. All right, we need a single. Okay, we got a TG Blade Blaster, so we hit an Ultra Rare. Okay, let's see if we can get one secret rare though, okay? Uh, one secret rare in the pack, let's see if we can hit it. QCRs as well, we'll take QCRs as well, uh, of course. We're never gonna say no to a QCR. Xyz Armor Fortress. I need to read a lot of these comments though. I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't read a lot of these comments. So I know Ken and Gen, those cards are nuts. And I uh, pulled a Gen there earlier, which is really nice. Let's see if we can just hit a single secret rare, preferably SP Little Knight. Preferably SP Little Knight. Super rare right over here. We only got one pack left to go. We only got one more shot at a secret rare. Let's see if we can make it happen. Please, let's make it happen. I don't want to end on a single ultra. Let's hit a secret rare right now. Ooh, we got a forest secret. This is actually a really, really powerful card. And I'm actually excited about this. We did 
hits a secret rare and an ultra rare in our packs, which I'm actually pretty excited about. This one is pretty nuts, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, I may not have hit the QCR, I may not have hit the QCR, but I know someone who did. Can I see it? There, there's never any emotion on this guy. <laughs> That's like one of the best QCRs to hit other than SP Lunlight. We hit the QCR. Not me, but one of us did. So we still got about 10 minutes now before our round one starts. Usually they give us about 20 minutes to edit our decks. If we want to add any of the Age of Overlord cards. Technically it's not legal, but for this event specifically it's legal. So everyone's going to be adding it into their decks, which is really cool. I don't have anything specifically to add myself just because we are on RDA and uh, there's nothing Age of Overlord really provided for RDA, but I get to get a lot of cool cards for other deck profiles that I want to do for you guys. Now, you guys saw I pulled that Secret Rare Horse card. Pretty cool. I don't plan on playing Horus anytime soon, so I ended up trading it with a few other cards of course, but I ended up using it for a trade, got myself an Ultimate Rare Brand Infusion, as well as a Revolution Synchron. Now the reason I wanted Rev Synchron, I need one more, because I really want to play ABC, but the thing that's been holding me back from playing ABC is the fact that I don't have Rev Synchrons and I couldn't have access to them. But now, I got one, so I only need to get one more, and then we can play ABC, which is really cool. So, with that being said, I know I've been talking a lot, and a lot of this vlog has just been me talking, but there's a lot going on. I don't think I'm going to be able to get you guys a lot of dual footage which is unfortunate usually i do but i want to show you guys the room like it's so busy and it's really hard to actually set up my tripod anywhere for some duels plus with this event they're going to be using table numbers so it's going to be really tough especially if i'm in like middle tables hopefully i can get you guys something though at least but uh yeah I i'm still excited i think today's going to be a good day regardless made some trades got some cool cards out of it and it's been good so far but don't worry even if i don't get dual footage i'm gonna give you guys recaps for each round this is what my hands are looking like i went first and that's that's what it is all right lads uh let me sit you guys down and give you guys a quick update i'm gonna put you guys down over here actually all right let me give you guys a quick update so we just finished our round three i know i couldn't get you guys any footage we're one and two right now it's not looking very good you need to go x1 to top and actually get any prizing so we're pretty much out of the pool for prizing but i uh, uh, I still am having a good time. What happened was my round one, I'll give you guys some uh, quick uh, recaps, right? So for round one, I was playing against Kashtara and I got zone lock for five, which I didn't think that deck could still do. I lost the die roll, got zone lock for five. That's, I just, I couldn't do anything. That was game one. Game two, I made a board and it was my mistake. I made a good board, but then I wasn't playing around Lava Golem, but Kashtara can play cards like Lava Golem because it doesn't really have a normal summon. So for that reason, I ended up losing to Lava Golem. I got Lava Golem and then my red zone and stuff on my board didn't really do much. So that was a tough uh, round one. Round two was against Purely. Now this round uh, did not go much better. You guys probably already saw my first turn hand. I, I won the die roll. Game one, I go first. I have double TTT, uh, Harpy's Feather Duster, Foolish, and uh, one more card, Crossout, I think it was. It was it was just bad. So I couldn't get my first two rounds. My third round though, I was up against Dragon Link. And you know, against Dragon Link, when you're able to set up your Abyss Disc Powder boards and you can play that control, it becomes really powerful. So we're one and two right now. I don't think we're gonna be topping. I may not even play out the rest of the tournament. I mean, people are already kind of leaving now at this point, all the X2s and whatnot. But I do want to show you guys, I got some more trades. And that's probably what I'm gonna stick around for, just trying to get some more trades. Still don't have an SP Little Knight. That is something that I'm definitely going to want to pick up. But uh, I don't think anyone's going to be wanting to moving it today. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. So remember how we picked up the Rev Synchron earlier? We now have two. Which means we can now actually play ABC. It's a deck that I've been wanting to play for a while. And now I have two of these. So uh, I'm really excited. It makes it so that this deck is now playable. And I can actually start playing something different for locals. Now there's a lot of decks that have been considering this format. ABC I think is one deck that not a lot of people are prepared for. And I think I can catch a lot of people out of guard. To be honest with you it's something that I'm just stuck with playing rogue decks I don't want to play a meta deck I, I could play rescue ace I could play purely I just I really don't want to so uh, we're gonna bring ABC back to the channel baby you know that's what this channel was built on and I think Rev Synchron makes it an absolutely busted deck with that being said I'm not gonna end the vlog off here just in case maybe I'll play my next round we'll see uh, I'll give you guys more recaps if I trade for more stuff I'll let you guys know if I trade for more stuff but to be honest it's just been a really fun time just seeing all the guys seeing everyone happy and excited all the polls and all that stuff really the community here is great and that's what I love about it the most, right? So I'll come back to you guys if there is anything else to update you with and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we are back in the car. So we actually ended up playing out a couple more rounds. There's five rounds that we ended up playing and I actually ended up going three and two on the day. 
Alpha also went three on two on the day, actually. So um, it was almost a successful day. You needed to go X1 to top, and uh, we were X2. So unfortunately, we couldn't top. I didn't want to play it out, just get some more practice and whatnot. And uh, it was good it was good stuff. But the more important stuff is that we got some content for you. Shout out Alpha again for always being the best cameraman on YouTube. But we got some more content. We got Dark World coming out for you guys. We got some 60 second profiles coming out for you guys. We got some shorts coming out for you guys. There's a lot coming up. So make sure you guys are subscribed to stay tuned in for all of that. That's really all I got to say, I guess. The, the, the vlog's over. The day's over. The sun's still out, actually, which is weird. Do you have anything to say? Anyways, thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. I know today's vlog is probably a shorter vlog just because I couldn't get a lot of the duels and whatnot. But uh, it was a good day. We made some trades. We have ABC Live again, so you guys are going to get an ABC profile soon as well. And uh, yeah, that, that, that's really it for me. Thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. With that, Snake Go signing out. Peace.